The name of the play is called The Twelfth Night. And the character is named Malvolio. And Malvolio is a steward to Olivia, who's a queen. Now, back in Shakespeare's days, you didn't move above or below your status. So Malvolio was a steward. That's all he was. But he had these visions that Olivia was in love with him. Okay? So even though she never would be, because he's below a station, it did not work that way in Shakespeare time. So what happens is Malvolio is like real stick up the rear end, kind of stuck up guy. And uh, he uh, thinks his woman's in love with him. So his friends, including Sir Toby, they write a letter. And they leave it for Malvolio to find. And so Malvolio picks up this letter and he reads it and he thinks the queen's in love with him and he does all the stupid things as his play goes on and she looks at him like he's an ass, which he is. But anyway, this is not written here. This is all memorized and this is what happened. So Malvolio's sitting there and he sees this letter and he says, <clears throat> M O a, I, this simulation is not as the former, and yet to crush this a little, it would bow to me, for every one of these letters are in my name. Soft, your follows prose. If this fall into thy hands, revolve. <laughs> in my stars I am above thee, but be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, some have greatness thrust upon them. Thy fates open their hands, let thy blood and spirit embrace them, and to inure thyself to what thou art like to be, cast thy humble sloth and appear fresh. Be opposite with a kinsman, surly with servants. Let thy tongue tang arguments of state, and put thyself into the trick of singularity. She thus advises thee who sighs for thee. Remember who commended thy yellow stockings of late and wished to see thee ever cross garden? I say remember. Go, thou art made, if thou desirest to be so. If not, let me see thee a steward still, a fellow of servants, and unworthy to touch fortune's fingers. Farewell. She that would alter services with thee, the fortunate and unhappy. <laughs> Daylight and champagne discover not more. This is open. I will be proud. I will read politic authors. I will baffle Sir Toby. I will wash off gross acquaintance. I will be point devise the very man. I will not allow imagination to jade me, for every reason excites to this that my lady loves me. She did commend my yellow stockings of late and praise my life for being cross garter And in this, she manifests herself to my love and with a sort of injunction drives me to these habits of her liking. Praise my stars, I am happy. I will be strange, stout in yellow stockings and cross garter even with the swiftness of putting on. Joe, my stars be praised here get a postscript. Thou canst not choose to know who I am? If thou entertainest my love, let it show in thy smile. Thy smile becomes thee well. Therefore, in my presence still smile, dear my sweet. <laughs> I pretty. Jove, I thank thee. I will smile. I will do everything that thou wilt have me. Malvolio, Twelfth Night. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, that's it now. When you leave, please, uh, hope you enjoyed the seminar. Thank you all for sitting through this. Thank you all for coming. We hope you learned a lot today. If there's any questions, you know who we are. Don't forget when you leave, hand out your, your sheet out on the desk over there and uh, on the right hand side, they'll collect them and we'll file those. Have a good trip home. Thank you very much. We love you, Columbus. Go Buckeyes. Did you write that in for me? Somebody wrote it in.